Hi everyone, Hillary here with Wild Orange Emporium. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Today's video is what sold for the week of January 15th through the 22nd. Uh, like my top 10 of what sold, um, where I picked them up, how much the cost was, what I sold them for. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. It's Saturday the 22nd and in Cincinnati it's like 9 degrees. I went and worked out with my friend at Planet Fitness and then, hi Patty, and then went to pick up my husband at the bike trail because he ran a half marathon this morning and he asked if I would pick him up some coffee. So I stopped at a little local coffee shop. Let's see, a little shout out to Mile 42 Coffee. Got myself an almond milk latte. It's delicious. And I needed it today. So anyways, uh, it's been a fun week. We started out um, with a bridal shower for my daughter. And my other daughter planned it at her apartment. And I'll include some pictures. She did an amazing job with the decorations. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous job. Her and her roommates put it all together. Uh, I really appreciate um, her putting in all that hard work and our friends and family attending and um, it was great. My sister who I've mentioned on the channel many times uh, in Oregon was able to zoom in with my uh, stepmom Judy and um, my sister Kate is visiting from Germany so they were able to all zoom in on the call and it was just fun um, had by all. Very exciting thing happened while I was at the shower and this is the fun of reselling, is that I got an offer on something fabulous and amazing, and it sold for big money. Um, not Briar Horse big, but still really big. So stay tuned, because it's my number 10 um, in this What Sold video for the week. So here we go. I feel like I should do the old David Letterman. Didn't he have like a choo, 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 uh, top 10? Okay. I'm sure Natalie is dying right now watching this video. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. 31 sales this week. Uh, curtsy, goose egg, zero, zero. Facebook Marketplace, zero. Etsy, zero. Um, there you have it. The real truth about reselling. Reselling, sometimes. Nothing. Jack Squat. Mercari, four sales. Poshmark, 12 sales. And eBay, 15. So a total of 31 sales this week. And like I said before, I'm not going to highlight them all. Just the top 10. So coming in at number 10, I guess I'm going the other way, <laughs> um, was this sale on Mercari. It's, um, I know I'm going to mispronounce this, so I apologize. Um, Naruto Shippuden DVD, the box set of season one. This was something I picked up on my auction site for, I don't know, somewhere between five cents and 50 cents. I think on the last video I sold the Luther uh, DVD set and um, same lot of items I got. Oh, also, I forgot. In honor of my sister Chelsea, um, and something that I sold of hers that you will know is my number one, not my number 10, my number one. I'm jazzing up, high style this video with some gorgeous jewelry that she made. Um, so anyways, number nine on eBay. I sold this Burton fleece jacket, Burton durable goods fleece jacket. And this, just a basic, the story behind this is someone offered me $20 like the week before. They never paid. So I bumped up the price another $10 and took an offer for $29.99. And I think I got this any like $5.99 is um, where I picked it up. Burton is a snowboarding ski, um, ski kind of jacket. So tip for resellers, I probably would not have bought this again. 
uh, $5.99. That's, you know, that's an average price for a jacket if it's not a clearance day, but it's not really jazzy. It's not fun. It's not exciting. Um, like even Columbia, I don't pick up fleece jackets anymore. I have some in my store because they're, they've had them for a while, but unless it's got some funky pattern uh, or it's a high end, um, down or uh, North Face underlayer or Patagonia, I'm probably not going to pick up Burton or Columbia unless the pattern's pretty funky. Okay. Uh, for me, they just don't go out. They don't sell out that well. Okay. Next is kind of a funky piece. You're either going to like it or hate it. Kind of weird. So this is Oz Franca, Big Eyes. Uh, and obviously you'll see it here. These are like reprints. And I got this from one of my auction sites. And it's pretty, um, I would say it's pretty beat up. They were pretty damaged, and I got them for, I don't know, a dollar or two, but they were so unique. And you couldn't tell when you were buying it on the auction how how damaged it really was, but I thought it was kind of, you know, let's try it. Why not? And then when I got them, I was like, whoa. Um, so there was a movie out a while back um, with Amy. I think it was Amy Adams, and it was about this artist. I never watched it. Did you watch it? Was it good? Is it worth watching? So I took an offer. I didn't have these priced very high because they're kind of warped. So I took an offer for um, $19.35. And, um, oh, I have my, my notes. I bought them for $3. So basically $1.50 a piece. But I thought they were interesting. And, you know, who knew um, what they would fetch for. Uh, number seven is, um, oh, I said Oz Frank. That was on eBay. The Van okay, number seven is this um, Vander Kitten bike shorts. Is this? Are these Vander Kitten um, biker shorts? And they sold on Poshmark. And last week I sold the Vander Kitten bib or unitard, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember. I think that might have been on eBay. So these sold for $32. And I think I picked these up for $4.99. They were all together, same space. I also have like an Iron Man um, uh, shorts and tank, it's almost like a singlet, but obviously it's two, two separate pieces. So it wouldn't be single, it'd be double it. <laughs> That's not what they're called. But anyways, um, and so I think this person offloaded all her, you know, training gear. Maybe they've been old or whatever. But anyways, $32 for this on Poshmark. So that was great. Number six, this was a sale on eBay. And I will also put the link to the video up in the corner. This is the uh, 1984 vintage Menudo lunchbox. And I, uh, made by Thermos, and I picked this up at my auction site. I bought, I don't remember, in the video, I think it's eight, six to eight lunch boxes for $8 a piece or like eight sixty four. dollars um, And there was two lots of them and I wish I would have got the other lot because when you watch this video, you'll see how much that one lunch box sold for. And the story behind it is so cool. So this was the Menudo one. I wasn't into Menudo. I wonder if my sister was into Menudo. Chels, were you into Menudo? I don't know, you speak Spanish now. Maybe you were. Um, but anyways, I think I only remember one song. So um, again, I picked these up for about $8, $8.64, and this sold for $32.99. And I've, I've had it for a while. I think it went to Florida. Number five. Oh yeah, Dave Letterman did. It was like the real number five. Um, I know some of you are too old for David Letterman, but I enjoyed it. This was on Poshmark. It was the vintage Puma men's jacket. And as I've said again, I enjoy selling men's clothes. They're easy. They're simple. They're straightforward. Um, fashion for men the let's say standard American male it's pretty straightforward um, not too crazy and those things sell consistently so this was a men's jacket uh, blue navy with a pinstripe um, uh, excellent condition vintage 
I would say early 90s. Um, I picked it up for $7.99. I had it listed for $80. I got an offer of $40 because I'm not a warehouse. And so I took it. I'm like, why not? I've also this week, I really looked at, did, you know, what were my sales like? And I'm trying to have a gross sales of 100 and I think it's 166 um, a week now. Uh, that would be, I mean, a day. Hundred. I'd like to sell 166 dollars a day a week. No, it'd be, be in the poorhouse. So let me start that over again. It used to be, I'd like to do 83 dollars a day gross. Seven, you know, seven days a week it would average out to two and a half thousand a month. Um, and now I've moved it up to I think it's 166 a day. You know, seven days a week average out makes it five thousand a month gross which is gross 60,000 a year. So that's my next threshold goal. And if you've been on this channel for a brief second, you'll know that math is not my forte or electronics because some people would put a fancy little doha up here, math al algebra. No, I was English. Even that's kind of bad now. <laughs> so anyways, if my math is off, put it in the comments. So that's my next goal. So when I'm looking at, um, at offers. I think one, are they insulting? Two, and then I try not to take it personal, which I'll tell you about some other ones. Two, is it reasonable? Will I make my money back? Will I at least double my money back? And three, what have my sales been today? Have I hit that 166 a day um, threshold? Because I think it helps me not be emotional. As a reseller, it's so hard not to have the emotions attached to business. Where most businesses, they don't have that emotional emotional attachment. So I think that has to do with our little hoarding brain, um, saving brain um, in my head. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. Number four. This is a sale on Poshmark and this is for Chelsea. Um, this is one of the hauls. I'll list it up here again. This is the Enel Sports Bra. It's E-N-E-L-L. -L. And Chelsea does really well with her sales on bras, brasiers. So Enel is a, a running sports bra for girls with larger bosoms. And um, I had one when I was used to be I did a triathlon or two in training because they work really well. But the only thing is, is they're really tight under the undercarriage. And um, sometimes uh, it's hard to breathe. So I think she said that these were for her own personal collection. Like she got them. Um, she'll have to put it in the comments. I don't remember for sure. So I don't think she got these at the bins. So I'm not sure what her buy value was on this. She'll have to post it. But this is the one that reminds me of Wonder Woman. Um, I took an offer for $45. Now, the whole story is, so this on Poshmark, on eBay, I had a lovely purchaser, buyer, message me. And this is how she gave me, I think she offered me $15. I think I had him listed at $65. She offered me $15 with a note that said, this bra is only worth this amount. And I was like, well, thank you, ma'am. I countered and I think I said $54.99, which then she proceeded to send me a screenshot of a similar bra from Walmart and for $19.99 and then um, chose to berate me for not selling her the bra at a reasonable price and that she went somewhere else and bought it and that I was a money grubbing something. And I was like, oh my gosh, you have too much time on your hands to send me all this information. So in my mind, I had a lengthy reply of encouraging words to her, but I refrained and I said, thank you and then proceeded to sell it on Poshmark. Now, really, don't take people's comments personally. Um, I've learned it's better just to keep your mouth shut and try not to defend yourself. So I just said, thank you. I appreciated, in my mind, I appreciate her input. Um, 
that that is her opinion. And also on B eBay, you have this great feature where you can block buyers. And I have blocked it. I think I've blocked three buyers because it was like they berated me into trying to get them to sell them the item for such a low price. And then all I can think about is they're going to get it and they'll be happy and they'll just return it or send me something. I don't know. I'm just like, returns are normal, but uh, I really didn't need to be berated. She wasted a lot of energy sending me pictures. I think she sent twice. She sent me pictures and comments, lengthy comments. So anyways, the moral behind the reselling moral behind that story is I want to make my customers happy. I want to give them deals. Um, and, but I don't need to lash out. I just say, thank you very much. Have a fabulous day and move on. Okay. I need a drink after that. Okay. The top three highlighted sales of the week coming down the, the chute here. Uh, on eBay, I sold this Revolution board game. Um, and this, I think it was last week or the week before, I sold the um, Dungeon Master, Dragon Master. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Board game that I got at a game convention. And so I picked this up for $5. And like I said, I always put as is. And I took an offer for $60. So um, again, Sometimes the board games are hard because they have to you have to charge them fifteen to twenty dollars in shipping because they're just you know they're bulky and sometimes they weigh a lot. But I was excited. That was a great turnover there. Number two, uh, I sold on Poshmark on offer um, this Sorel Joan of Arc puffy puffer snow boots and Sorel is S O R E L. It's a very popular brand. Um, you can get them at the thrift. Sometimes I've never found them at the thrift. This was my auction site. I paid up. I paid $30. That was a lot. That was a big investment for me, but they were brand new without the box. Um, and so I had them listed pretty high. I think I had them listed on Poshmark at 185 on Poshmark. I set my offers at 20%. So I know it would be down there. So someone sent me an offer for a hundred dollars and I was like, got greedy guys. I didn't accept it. And I forgot my motto. I'm not a warehouse. I'm not a storage unit. So I countered with, oh, they offered me 150. I countered with one. No, they offered me a hundred. I countered with not my motto. I'm not a warehouse. I'm not a storage unit. So when they liked the item on Poshmark, I offered 150. They countered with a hundred. And I was like, should I take it? Should I not? Should I take it? Should I not? I countered with 125. And afterwards I was like, oh, I did. I forgot my motto. So they countered with 105 and I was like, sold. I'll accept it. So anyways, so $30 into $105. Um, that is fabulous. You know, why for a brief moment I lost my mind. So anyway. Are you ready? The moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Should I get my snobby voice on? The big number one sale of the week is this fabulous Hermes nautical canvas coat sold on Poshmark. I had it listed, I don't know, I think fifteen hundred dollars it's here's my thing if this thing is worth one million dollars i'll be so upset it's not but it's such a unique piece uh, i'll put the link in above my sister chelsea found it at the bins it's beat up and i think i have some extra pictures here and you can see the leather work around the edge is gone but it is a vintage hermes coat nautical themed um, and I, you can see the tag, the vintage tag, the inside yellow plaid, um, the, um, the hook on the front is like, has a little anchor printed on it. It is a very heavy canvas, uh, sort of thing during the shower. I got an offer for $500. The person left comments about 
it had stains, cleaning it up and getting it redone, that it's going to be a lot of work. Basically trying to sell me on the offer. Um, and we've had it since the summer. I think I put it up at auction and I only got like, I think I got a couple offers for 200 or something like that. And we were like, no, I don't think we want to do that. And I'm like, just give it some time for the right customer. So it sold for $499. And Chels was super happy, super excited. We all were. I was sharing with people at the shower. So it was thanks again, guys, for watching this video. It was a busy week of sales and I am so grateful. I think I did about a little over $1,400 in sales this week. Did I repeat myself? Did I say that at the beginning? Eh. Um, so it was really an excellent week. And uh, I really appreciate all your support here on the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell notification. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it allows me to continue to make videos. My goal this year is to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 390. So if you can share... Um, this video with your family and your friends. That would be helpful um, to get those up. And then uh, it would be fun to do a live, a live video and sell some items on YouTube. Um, I see people do that all the time. Also, um, as my sister Chelsea, as you're watching this, I'm thinking let's do a spring showcase, um, March or April. Um, with all the trends coming up for the summer, for the spring and summer, I think that would be fun to do a Zoom and we can record it. Did you like that? If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here, her fall fashion one. Um, she's got great insight into fashion. Um, I have great insight into selling, not always fashion, but anyways. Okay, I digress. Have a great day. I'm praying for the Bengals to win against Tennessee. And uh, we'll see you over soon. Blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping for the Bengals to win tonight against Tennessee, and we will see you real soon. Adios!